July 12, 2022 is a Tuesday. Welcome to your daily weather for the great city of Dallas. Dress for heat. The temperature today should reach up to 107 degrees Fahrenheit and down to 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is at 22%. You can expect no rain and no snow today. Not many clouds. We've got moderate wind at about 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow is going to be hot with few clouds. Thursday is going to be hot with light rain. Friday is going to be hot with clear sky. Saturday is going to be hot with broken clouds. Sunday is going to be hot with light rain. Monday is going to be warm with moderate rain. Tuesday is going to be hot with clear sky. Heat advisory remains in effect until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Saving Time Tuesday. What heat index values up to 109 and temperatures up to 105? Where portions of North Central and Northeast Texas? When, until 9 p.m. Central Daylight Saving Time Tuesday. Impacts, hot temperatures and high humidity will increase the risk for heat-related illnesses to occur, particularly for those working or participating in outdoor activities. Ozone Action Day. The Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, TCEQ, has issued an Ozone Action Day for the Dallas-Fort Worth area for Tuesday, July 12, 2022. Atmospheric conditions are expected to be favorable for producing high levels of ozone air pollution in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. On Tuesday, you can help prevent ozone pollution by sharing a ride, walking, riding a bicycle, taking your lunch to work, avoiding drive-through lanes, conserving energy, and keeping your vehicle properly tuned. For more information on ozone, Ozone, the facts, www.tceq.texas.gov slash go to slash ozone facts closing parenthesis. Air North Texas, www.airnorthtexas.org. EPA Air Now. www.airnow.gov slash index.cfm question mark action dot local underscore state and state eat equals 45 and tab equals zero closing parenthesis. Take Care of Texas, www.takecareoftexas.org North Central Texas Council of Governments Air Quality www.nctcog.org slash trans slash air slash index dot asp closing parenthesis And now for the news. Warning, some news stories can be disturbing or offensive. Stories are provided by various sources. In other Texas news, key words, we might not have seen worst of global energy crisis, warns IEA chief. The world has never witnessed such a major energy crisis in terms of its depth and complexity. We might not have seen th. e worst of it yet this is affecting the entire world. In other Texas news, watch, SpaceX's super heavy rocket suffers explosion during test. SpaceX's next-generation Super Heavy rocket suffered an explosion during pre-launch testing on Monday afternoon. Next up, Florida Police Department diverting calls to mental health staff. NewsNation Police in St. Petersburg, Florida, received a call in May about a woman who was acting bizarre, in the words of a caller. Next up. Pregnant Texas woman says unborn baby should count as car passenger after receiving HOV ticket CNBC. A pregnant Texas woman said her unborn baby should count as a second passenger in her vehicle after she received a tick. T. Citing Texas's penal code in the wake of Roe v. Wade's being overturned. For our next story, Texas risks summer blackouts with broiling 100-degree days. Texas's record heat is putting the state's power grid to the test this summer. Wow, I have no opinion at all, but what happens before we reach rolling blackouts? Breaking down ERCOT's emergency alert levels KXAN.com Austin KXAN on Sunday evening, the Electric Reliability Council of Texas announced it would be asking Texans to volunteer. 
highly conserve energy on Monday during peak usage hours, between 2 and 8 p.m. Wow, I have no opinion at all, but SpaceX fires up engines on huge Starship booster ahead of orbital test flight. SpaceX just lit a very big candle. The company fired up the engines today July 11 on Super Heavy, the giant first stage, B. Booster for its next-gen Starship Deep Space Transportation System. That's it Texas. Have a good one. To help support improvement of our show, please click subscribe. See description for sources. This content contains information from OpenWeather TM API, which is made available here under the Open Database License ODBL.